Hi, I'm Dr. John Reed, co-chair of the Scientific Advisory Board for International Bipolar Foundation. I'm going to be addressing some questions that consumers have raised from the perspective of a researcher. One of the most frequently asked questions is, since bipolar disorder seems to be so heterogeneous, how is it that researchers can study this disorder? Well, indeed, all mental health disorders, including bipolar, are complex heterogeneous disorders, and this does create many challenges for researchers. To overcome these challenges, we use several approaches. One is that we recognize we cannot take a one-size-fits-all approach to this disease. And therefore, in the laboratory, when we're using either cell, model, cell culture models or animal models, we recognize that we cannot rely on a single model, that we must have different ways of thinking about the disorder and different ways of trying to mimic in the laboratory what may be going on in patients. In addition, thanks to advances in genomics and the ability to do genetic studies, we're increasingly understanding the genetic basis to this heterogeneity of bipolar disorder. And armed with that information, we hope to be able to more realistically categorize the disorder into different subtypes which then each could be studied and each could, be could become the point of focus for devising more effective therapeutics. For more information about this, you can turn to the International Bipolar Foundation's website for updates from time to time, as well as surveying the information that becomes available through scientific literature. It's a very vibrant space. There's a lot of exciting work ongoing as we try to understand this heterogeneity and come up with much more personalized treatments for patients with bipolar disorder.